So in this video I'm going to show you how you can transfer money using the Ethereum Mist Wallet. Now there's a little bit of confusion about what this Mist Wallet really is. Well, it is a wallet, okay, but that's just one of the first apps that have, or dApps that have been added to it. Uh, in the future, it's still under development at the moment, but in the future you'll be able to do so much more. So when you first boot it up, it's actually connecting to peers and it's actually going through all the blocks that have happened so far. So right now it's processing the blocks and it's at 98%. In the future, while it's processing that, I'll just show you what it's going to look like in the future. If we go to uh, Mist Wallet or Ethereum, okay, and we can have a look here. This is the one vision uh, for how this Mist Wallet might look in the future. And it could be the one, that, you know, one of a browser that we actually just use. That's the most empowering browser. It might be the browser that we use to do our, our searches, uh, to find people, to do business, to set up transactions. For the final users, those are not app. So you can see here, you have smart property. Uh, you have people, messages, internal messaging. Uh, you might do some mining. Uh, you might make a deal or catalog of different apps. You might learn Ethereum. Uh, you might get some type of insurance here, uh, develop some type of marketplace or timeshare exchange, issue time-based tokens and exchange your time for others. Um, you know, it's where you'll come and do your work, basically, and trade with other humans around the whole planet. So it's pretty cool. So that's the future of this software. But at the moment, we're still in you know very early stages. It's completed... The blocks, it's live, it's connected to six peers. Um, and the first, obviously, basic transaction is using your wallet. So up on the right-hand side here, you can change the currency view. Uh, this currency is actually in Ethereum or Ether. Um, but sometimes I just leave it in US dollars when I'm demonstrating it to people so that they can see uh, what how much US dollars or the equivalent of US dollars is in there. So if I wanted to, uh, I made an account, account 15, it's got... $11.20 in there right now. I want to send it back to this Tom Miller account. All I need to do is click on account 15. Press copy address. Okay, it's copied the address and now go to send and I want to send from account 15 to the address that I put in there and I want to send everything. So all I need to do now is it's showing me a cost of how, of sending that. If I so it's about 0.3 of a cent to send that money. If I increase faster, it will be 0.5 of a cent, so half a cent. Or cheaper, which will take longer, a few more minutes, it will be 0.2 of a cent. So that's pretty simple how it actually works. So then all I need to do is press send, and it's going to ask me for my password, and I hit send transaction. And we're going to see, it's going to go here from 11.20, we scroll down, 0 of 12 confirmations, so 11.20. So it's actually just taken a little bit out right now uh, for it to pay for the transaction. And we're going to see that money disappear out of account 15 and go over to this Tom Miller account here. So it should happen any second now. Probably happen on the next block when this number goes to 0. We've had two confirmations. Okay. Not sure what happened then, but something happened. Oh, I sent it from account 15 to account 15. All right, so that makes sense. So that's why that didn't happen. I didn't actually get the right account, so I sent it to my own account. Um, so I've got to wait for those confirmations to happen. So what's really cool is you can look on this, and then you can click on the transaction, and it'll take you to etherscan.io. Uh, where you can actually view the actual status of the transaction here. You can see that that's the block height and it's got three block confirmations and that happened 42 seconds ago.
So I just need to go back to the missed wallet, which is right here. The Ethereum wallet. 12 confirmations. I'm just going to pause it. I'll, I'll, I'll show you So what's going on. So I sent it to the same account, which was silly. So what we need to do is grab this, copy this address, and go back to wallets. And then we click on this one and send and paste this address in there. And we want to send everything. And then we'll hit the send button. Six confirmations. So once it gets to 12, I'll, I'll, do, I'll start this next transaction. I'm sure you probably could do it now, but uh, it's just safer, I think. Uh, during these early days of Ethereum to process a transaction once the 12 confirmations have happened. So it's come to 8 confirmations now. Alright, so we can see that transaction has finished. Uh, so I'm going to do this properly this time. This time I'm going to go and grab this address here. And then go to Wallets and go to account 15 and press send so we're sending from account 15 and pasting it in there and we want to send everything and we are literally just going to press the send button type in our password send transaction alright so we should see account 15 go from $11 to zero dollars and then we should see five two thousand five hundred and fifty nine dollars in here or sixty dollars and account 15 will probably come down to here because it's got zero or actually orders the accounts okay it just happened so there's account 15 it's gone to zero dollars and it's gone up here to two thousand uh, 561 US dollars here. So that's it, and it's done two confirmations. So that's pretty simple. If I click on here, and you can actually look at the transaction and show, see it on Etherscan, it happened 21 seconds ago. So it only took 21 seconds for the first confirmation to come through. And yeah, there's one block confirmation. Pretty powerful. And this is just the start of an incredible system that's being built here. Uh, and if you're a programmer, you know, it's, it's, this is an open source project where you can go and start building the vision of this software. Uh, you know, I really do see the full vision of this taking over uh, browsers like Chrome. Uh, and this will be where people get a more empowering experience. They'll be able to, the future of governance, where we'll be, be able to see where we're actually placing funds for drought insurance uh, and what's happening, what's going on in mining, what people are doing and talking. Uh, what people are doing for their college, all sorts of things. It's really up to our own creativity on how we want to use this framework. So really powerful. And you can find out more about that by just Googling Ethereum, Mist, and GitHub and going to the open source project. That's a pretty cool view as well. Let's build a lighthouse together. So a crowdfunded, this is crowdfunding projects or anonymous relay delivery drones so we could build that together. Or create a mesh network over North Korea, all sorts of things. Like you can just go and put ideas up there. This is the future of crowdfunding and governance. Oh, and I almost forgot. If you liked this video, or you found it helpful or useful, um, definitely subscribe to my channel. And uh, you know, we want to grow this subscriber channel so that help people transition over to this new sort of way of doing decentralized contracts and decentralized banking through the Transition Foundation. So hit the subscribe button, and uh, you'll be getting. Uh, videos as soon as I can record them. I definitely suggest you check out the um, My Health IRL. Uh, it's basically decentralizing healthcare, which is a really cool idea as well. And about time. Uh, and uh, check out the other videos and get up to date with what's going on with the decentralized space and especially Ethereum technology.